Hello, thank you for attending my presentation. I'm Una Ko, and I'm going to be presenting on the subject of influence of real-time land cover change in the intertidal region on meteorological prediction in coastal areas. My prediction today will consist of four, four, all four parts, introduction, material, and method, result and discussion, and summary and conclusion. A coastal region in an area where the physical properties of the ocean and the in interaction between the ocean and land result in continually changing coastline and land cover type. Alteration in coastal land cover can result in changing in land surface parameter in adjacent areas. This changing consists constantly impact their local meteorological conditions. In particular, coastal intertidal areas are experiencing land cover change of twice a day. So intertidal zone which is subject to this land cover change play a critical role in the marine environment and the maintain, maintenance of marine ecosystem. However, the meteorological model performed, performed with a fixed land cover limited the ability to accurately simulate the meteorological in the intertidal region. Therefore, in this study, we apply the time bearing land cover in the intertidal region to the three dimensional meteorological model and assist the impact of time bearing land cover in the intertidal region on coastal meteorological change. For this study, our focus was centered on the intertidal zone of Gyeonggi Bay, which represents the largest intertidal zone along the western coast of South Korea. The study period was selected to be the three days before and after the 50 days of the lunar day when the tidal influence is greater. The meteorological model, the local model bottom 3.8 was employed to assess the impact of time bearing land cover due to tides in the intertidal zone on coastal meteorological change. The detailed description of the work model used in the simulation is shown in the tables. The tide simulation consisted of meteorological model run with time bearing land cover, and the control simulation consisted of run with fixed land cover. The cost system was used to calculate the hourly special change in the model grid corresponding to the area of the intertidal zone. The detailed description of the cost system used in the simulation is shown in the table. To obtain more accurate intertidal area for assessing meteorological impact, the intertidal zone there Diversity from the coupled model was adjusted using vertex pressure image from the Landsat A satellite image. When applying the final calculated intertidal area to geogrid in the work model, the landmass on the grid corresponding to the intertidal zone was modified from ocean to land, and the land use was water body to harbor shelf land land. Using the modified geogrid, the wolf model was conducted con continually at one hour interval. Overall, a uh, comparison of the intertidal zone applied to the wolf model with the satellite based intertidal zone showed more dielectric pressure homo homogeneously during high and low tide. Therefore, we determine that the time bearing into tidal zone simulated in this study is rare simulated. From the work model simulation, using the adjusted into tidal area, the change in land use category owing to into tidal land cover variation substantially, substantially affected the change in land surface parameter. In the target simulation, Following the land cover change from water body to harbor shelf land land, the main albedo and surface reference land values in the intertidal zone were significantly higher than their 
typical values. Conventionally, the solar nature value were significantly lower than typical values. These arch reductions in land surface parameter and tide simulation are affect to the affect to influence meteorological conditions. We compare tide and contour simulation and observation to assess the effect of time bearing land cover in the intertidal zone on the accuracy of meteorological values. In the in general Temporal variations show closer agreement with the observation and most light in the tide simulation compared to the contour simulation. Notably, change in most meteorological variables were more performance during low tide than during high tide. This difference can be primarily attributed to substantially alteration in land surface parameters during low tide as opposite to high tide owing to significant land cover change in the tide region. To examine the special impact of time bearing land cover on meteorological variables, the special distribution of the differences in meteorological variables were compared for day and night time at low tide during the early period. Firstly, the air temperature. The air temperature in the tide simulation increased by an average of 6.2 Celsius during the day and decreased by an average of 1.6 at night compared to the control simulation. The particular change in both and nighttime air temperature were more pronounced in the intertidal zone where land cover changed directly. Relative humidity in the opposite of air temperature with an average decrease of 29% during the day and average increase of 1.4% at night. Relative humidity also changed significantly in the intertidal zone. To determine the influence of change in land surface parameter due to change in land cover on change in air temperature and relative humidity at low tide, the special distribution of the difference in soil temperature at low tide were compared. Soil temperature in the tidal zone increased during the day and decreased at night due to decreased soil moisture. An increase in daytime air temperature could be attributed to either Elevated soil temperature and the decrease in nighttime air temperature might primarily result from increased nighttime radiation cooling. The, temp the temporal and special pattern in, in wind speed between the tide and contour simulation were dis distinguished from those of the air temperature and relative humidity. The daytime wind speed in the tide simulation increases slightly due to the elevated temperature gradient between the, the tidal zone and open sea as a result of the higher daytime temperature in the tidal zone. In contrast, the nighttime wind speed decreases consider, considerably in the tidal zone, predominantly due to the increased surface opening length. The so evaluated water performance with and without time bearing land cover. Statistical analysis were performed on the meteorological variables at the intertidal and inland monitoring sites during the study period. Overall, the meteorological variables at all monitoring sites were slightly better simulated in the, in the tide simulation than in the contour simulation. Additionally, the accuracy of the most of meteorological variables at the intertidal site exhibit greater improvement than those at the inland site. Therefore, it is reasonable to consider the time bearing land cover in the intertidal zone produced by the coupled model to accurately simulated meteorological variables in the coastal area. 
this bring us to the end of my presentation. In this study, we conducted a quantitative analysis to assess the influence of time-bearing land cover within the intertidal zone on coastal meteorological prediction. The result related that temporal, temporal change in the intertidal zone had a significant significant impact on meteorological variation in both an intertidal and surrounding areas. Notably, this impact and contribution of time-bearing land cover within the intertidal zone to change in meteorological variables were significantly greater at the intertidal zone compared to inland. Therefore, this study is significant as a quantitative assessment of the impact of real-time land cover change in the intertidal zone on coastal metallurgy. That's all I have prepared for you today. Thanks for your time.